I'm like, okay. okay. I let him get what he want. He buy me East and Laurent in the new whip. When it go fast as a horse, I got the trunk in the front. I'm the hottest in the street. No, you probably heard of me. Got a bag. So I've already done my eyebrows and primed my eyelids and face, so we're going to go right into the colors. So I'm going to start with my Tardis Pro eyeshadow palette, the Amazonian Clay palette. And I'm going to take the shade Innocent that you see right up here and use that as sort of a transition shade slash giving a base for the rest of my colors to blend onto. And then I'm going to go right into the shade Mod that you see right there, which has sort of a pinkish undertone. And I'm going to use that shade right under that Innocent shade and use it in the transition area as well. Now to give a little more depth to my crease, I'm going to go into Drama and use that right in the crease area with sort of a tapered or pointed blending brush. And then I'm going to use this deep purple shade from the same palette, Vamp, and I'm just going to take that into the outer V and a little bit into the crease to give a little bit more depth before I go in and cut the crease. Now to do my semi-cut crease, I'm going to take the MAC Paint Pot in the shade Painterly and I'm just going to use that on a synthetic flat brush to go ahead and carve out the inner half of my lid space right at the crease or where my natural socket area is. And then for my lid shade, I'm going to take this loose pigment from MAC. This is one of their MAC Minis, and this is the shade Kitchmas, which is sort of a very pale lavender that has silver reflex. And I'm just going to take a flat eyeshadow brush that I sprayed with some Fix Plus from MAC and go ahead and pack that onto the lid right over that paint pot color that I laid down. Now going back into that mod shade, I'm just going to use a blending brush to blend out the edges of that cut crease shade, the Kitschma shade, and I'm just going to soften that and let it go into the deep purple vamp shade a little bit better in my um, outer V. Now I'm just going to do a little wing line with my NYX liner and pop on some false lashes and I'll be right back. 
now I'm going to move into doing my complexion. So I'm starting with my Makeup Forever HD foundation and my Estee Lauder Double Wear. I'm going to mix the two and give you all sorts of Oompa Loompa realness, but it's okay. I'm going to fix it a little bit <laughs> later once I go in and highlight and contour and use all my powders and stuff. It'll look a little bit better on camera. Now I'm just going to go over that with my beauty blender to make sure everything is blended seamlessly and softened up because sometimes when you use a brush there is a little bit of streakiness. And then I'm going to take my NARS um, Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Amande or Amand and I'm just going to go ahead and highlight under my eyes and across the center of my face just to bring back some more of that yellow tone or golden tone. And then I'm going to contour using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Stick Foundation in the shade Earth. Now I just recently started using a small duo fiber or stippling brush to blend out my contour and I picked up this tip from Color Du Jour on her new online makeup workshops and I absolutely love this method so much more than trying to blend out my contour with a beauty blender so I highly recommend it but I'm still going to use a beauty, bl <laughs> beauty blender to blend out my under eye highlight and anywhere that I put that highlight and concealer across my face. Now to set my highlight areas and anywhere that I don't have contour, I'm going to take my Laura Mercier TLSP and this setting powder brush from Kat Von D and I'm just going to lightly tap that over everything. I'm not going to pack on a ton of powder with the Beauty Blender, I'm just going to kind of lay it down and then I'll brush it away shortly after. And then I'm just going to carve out under my contour with the same powder using my Beauty Blender. Now to set the actual contour areas, I'm going to take this contour shade. It's like a free contour pan. It wasn't free, but it's a, like a free object that you can put into a Z palette that I got from Makeup Geek. And this is a shade Deal Breaker. And lastly for my complexion, I'm taking my Black Radiant Soft Focus Finishing Powder in the shade, uh, I think it's Milk Chocolate Finish, and I'm just going to buff that over all of the powders to kind of, you know, melt them together and brush away any excess powders that I may have from setting my highlight and contour. Now to highlight, I'm just going to take my Bobbi Brown Mini Shimmer Brick in this bronze shade and I'm just going to put that on the high points of my cheeks and then my brow bone. And then to bring more warmth to my cheeks, I'm taking my Black Radiance um, Blush in Toasted Almond. It's like a baked blush and I absolutely adore this color. It's so subtle and it really suits my complexion very well. Now I'm just going to finish off that bottom lash line using the same shades that I put in the transi transition and crease areas up top. And then I'm going to do a subtle inner corner highlight with any like silver or really bright inner corner highlighting shade or eyeshadow that you can find.
And now moving on to my lips, I'm taking this very deep burgundy shade. It's Voodoo from the Bold brand. And I'm just going to take the liner from that kit and line my lips. And I overlined my top lips just because my top lip is pretty thin and I wanted my lips to look very plump with this ombre lip color that I'm going to do. And then taking the liquid lipstick in the same shade, Voodoo, I'm just gonna go ahead and fill in my lips. Then after letting that dry down, I went in and took my Tardis lip paint and it's in the shade, I can't quite remember, but I'll make sure I put it down in the description box. And it's a very um, dusty pink shade. I'm just going to dot that on the inside of my lips and pat the lips together. And then I'm going to take a synthetic lip brush and go ahead and blend out those edges. And that's all there is to this look. So I really hope you enjoy it. If you do recreate it, make sure you tag me on social media so that I can see for you. And be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you do enjoy my content. And I will see you beauties in the next video. Bye. Bye.